Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and as of today, Exuria is now out, so you guys can download it. There is the link down in the description below. You can find the curse page for it. If you guys don't already use the Twitch launcher, you can, of course, find it on the Twitch launcher. Just search up Exuria, and it should be there, most likely, because today is the release day. Hopefully you guys are ready. All right, guys, so a lot of fun stuff has happened <laughs> off camera. Um, I did go back down to the core um, and I worked on a few things. So I ended up killing a few of the magma down there and blaze. And before I originally thought that they only dropped sulfur and the tiny piles of coal dust. That's not the case um, because every one I killed since the first time I went in, I've received blaze rods from the blazes and magma cream from the magma slimes. So, yeah, I've uh, only got a few, though, because I didn't want to spend too much time down there. I was just mainly focusing on other things. And then also, you guys you guys recommended in the comments that this guy is actually a level 9 heat source. So look at this. N 9 heat source value. Lava is only 6. Um, this is like a level 3 heat source. So uh, this is actually a better heat source than all the current heat sources that we have. Which kind of makes sense in this pack because, uh, I mean, being that this is actually found at the core kind of makes sense. Um, this actually just got sucked back into this. I need to turn this off. Uh, now it should just drop into the world. Right? Yeah. Okay. Um, but anyways, like I was saying, this is just a better heat source. I actually used it um, over here on my cauldron. And it actually worked out quite nice. Um, it's actually, this thing is, is setting at a level one. If you look here, you see I have cauldron slag in there, but current heat is at uh, 1.0, where before it was only reaching 0.9. Um, but yeah, I can now make quite a bit of this. Um, of course, I have to pull out this slag. Whenever you just leave it setting, you end up getting this slag, and then you can check and see if you actually have all it pulled out because it does take up spaces but yeah so now I can make uh, I think this is this is a little bit easier to make while I'm just doing other things um, I already have 32 of them so uh, it's been working out we've, we've been getting quite a bit I'm trying to I'm, I'm trying to figure out where to put stuff I think eventually we're gonna get into some other types of storage but uh, yeah we're gonna be working a little bit more today with this generator so Let's go ahead and read our quest a little bit. There's two things I definitely want to get into. I don't know if we're going to get into the uh, engineering, immersive engineering quite yet, because these two are going to take a little bit of time in themselves. Um, but the charger. So this thing opens up magnets from Magnacraft, which opens up a, a few other machines. Um, like just it's it's pushing ourselves towards more power generation, uh, which is exactly what we want to go towards. But it says... Uh, with the two big requirements, power and steel, I can now construct a charger that charges Sir's Quartz, which I will need to make Flux Crystals for better power options. Um, to make flux, flux Crystals, I need to throw uh, charged Sirtis Quartz and Redstone into water. Um, and it says, with the Flux Crystals, I can now make magnets. Okay. So, when it says Quartz, this is the only Quartz I currently have. And I have to actually turn this into its powered form, um, which I've been working on. As you can see, here is the Sirtis Quartz. I just need to get this Quartz going. Um, it's taking a little bit of time for each thing, but uh, the glass is what, honestly, is what's taking the longest time. Speaking of glass, I need to get that started. Um, I need to go ahead and remove this, because I think this is still pumping out Nuggets, right? I had it. I had it working on nuggets and stuff. I think that this is, yeah, okay, empty. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put the block mold, so that we can get some more glass, so we can get that going here in a little bit. But uh, let's worry about making this charged uh, charger. All right, so let's go ahead and make this charger. It's pretty simple. Um, it's the, of course, old-fashioned charger from Applied Energistics. So it should be a pretty easy thing to make. And uh, it looks like the output on this thing is right on the top because that's where the little redstone mechanism guy is. And as you can see, it is charged. And as long as we have rubber boots on and we walk side to side, 
Look at that. It's charged up. I wonder if there could be a way we could like automate this. I think that there could be. Maybe if we had a piston system that pushed us side to side on a timer, that would be kind of cool. Like that would be a way of like semi automating this thing, even though I don't need think we need to worry about it. It would just be a, a little funny project. But uh, yeah, automating us uh, being pushed side to side, I think would would honestly work on this uh, machine. Um, I, th I don't think it's intended, but uh, it, it'd probably work. So let's throw this in here. And we can watch the level just completely go away. Okay, as you can see, when it changes texture like this, you need that little blue. That means it's it's done. Look at there. So we now have a charged service quartz. Um, and it doesn't look like it uses that much power, actually. I forgot that uh, AE uh, power is not one to one. Um, and sometimes it has a, a like a weird like delay. Sometimes it doesn't work right away. Um, there we go. It's weird. Sometimes we don't get the pop sound. It's kind of interesting. But uh, for the most part, everything should be sounding fine. Okay. So uh, we're waiting on this. So I'm making the quartz now. So that's good. And then the last thing we need to grab is some more of our redstone. And then I think we can make some of what it, what it's wanting us to make. Look at there. There's all that redstone for us. All right, so I don't want to place it here. I think I'm going to use another, just to grab myself my own water source. Why not? And just throw it down here. Okay. So this is one to one. Let's do a charged and a redstone. And it's going to do a little electroshock thing. And there we go. We have some flux crystals. So that was the whole quest. Um, now, it's one of us to make magnets. Now, if we take a look at magnets. This magnet for magnet craft is the one that it's wanting us to make. It requires a little bit more. Of course, it requires the uh, four of the flux to make one magnet. But this magnet is used to make a motor, which is pretty simple to make. And then the motor is actually used to make two machine blocks using steel lead, and iron plates. These machine blocks are then used to also make the wind turbine from mag uh, Magnetic Craft. Don't know if that's the intended route. I think it's going to be le uh, leading us more towards immersive engineering because this is, looks like what uh, immersive engineering is gated by. So you can see there the kinetic dynamo, which uh, is basically free power, um, which would basically render this thing useless from that point on. But uh, I think we'll be fine. Let's go ahead and just do our last one, just so we can get that uh, get that last piece there. Look at there, and bam! Now we have four flux crystals. Pretty cool. And then, last but not least, it wants us to make a magnet, and I think we have everything for that. Oh, iron! One iron. Um, that's in here. Okay, so make the magnet. And that should be completed now. There we go. Done. And there's our quest complete. Awesome. So we got charging done. And that does look like it opens up. Um, did it open these sections up? I think it did. Powered smelting? Yes, it did. Thermal energy. Okay. So that's exactly what it wants us to make. Uh, which is a little bit different than I thought it was going to want us to do. Um, but I do see right here the power MK2. This is where that kinetic dynamo comes into the play. But uh, let's worry about this faster processing. This is the next thing on our list. So let's go ahead and gather the few things I need. So I need the magma cream that I got from the core. I also need a few of the pulverized obsidian. There we go. And then I might, I don't know if I need to blaze rods or not, but uh, we have it. Uh, but soul sand. Um, it's kind of tells us that we don't really need to worry about soul sand. Uh, or we can make it the embers process, which uh, is not that fun, by the way. Uh, let's see. I like the freezer method a lot better. 
Let's see, where did I put my soul sand last time? I have no clue where my soul sand went. But I th I'm pretty sure it was this stuff gets turned into soul sand. Yes. Almost positive. That's the case. Um, but I know I had some. That is the the crazy thing. Of course, whenever I sort my inventory, I always put stuff where I should probably remember. But I have not. I have no idea. Oh well. Like I said, we're gonna get some more uh, made up. That's what I'm working on right here. Because uh, I thought I thought last time we had a bunch of it made. Oh, it's right here. Wow. I, you guys always say this. You guys say, it's oh, it's right in front of your face. Yeah, it, it literally is right in front of my face. Okay. So, now that we have these few things, let's take a look here. It wants us to make the melting crucible. It says, I found a material in the planet's core that would allow me to reach higher temperatures for faster processing. Um, to get soul sand, I can, for example, use ember processing. The mobs around there could give me magma cream. Okay. So, that's right. The magma creams uh, you get from the magma slimes. So, that's just uh, how you do it. So, let's take a look at uh, this this M Melting Crucible Advanced. So, the Melting Crucible Advanced. It is a block that can reach up to 4,000 in temperature. And it looks like, I mean, maybe it'll melt stuff faster. That's the hope that it'll process things faster. That or it may just process new things. I don't, there's 186 on, 186 on this one, 186 here. So maybe it just goes faster and can cook at a higher temperature. Who knows? We're going to need some iron. Uh, looks like we're going to need some steel plates. That is new. I'm guessing four is how many we're going to need. I've not actually uh, looked at the recipe yet, so we're going to be kind of winging it here. But that is kind of one of the things we're going to need. But the main thing is this Inferno Brick, which we need Inferno Clay, which requires the Refractory Clay with all of this stuff. And I think in total we're going to need six here and four here. So ten, right? Ten in total. Do we have a silver plate by chance? Don't think so. So let's go ahead and, uh, and uh, just grab that and make that real quick. There we go. Now we should have just about everything ready to go. So like I said, 10 of this clay. Looks like we can make 16 of it. Understandable. And uh, yeah, why not cook it? Cook it all. Who, who cares? Uh, we'll just cook it all. We only really need a few of them, but uh, that's fine. All right, so we should have everything here. Look at that, 11, that is plenty. Let's go ahead and pop this in here. And I think we have just about everything. Let's go ahead and make our cauldron that we're gonna need. That holds our fluid. And the refractory casing. Then voila. We have our new and improved melting crucible. Hopefully, this thing is better. Let's go ahead and break this guy. We should be able to replace it here, right? And it looks like, I mean, it heats up the same way. I just, I hope it processes things faster. Uh, if I see it processing faster, I'll be so happy. Because this has been honestly a really slow process since the very beginning. Um, and getting it up to temperature, we'll see. We'll see if this starts like going really fast, we'll have to upgrade our pipes. Um, man, I'm kind of interested. Okay, so it, it hit the temperature. There it goes. Doesn't seem to be any faster. I think maybe whenever the temperature hits the max, the hotter the temperature, the faster it goes. That might be the case. That's what I'm thinking. It looks like it goes a little bit faster the, the higher up this goes. So that'll be interesting to see. 
We'll check on that later. I'll also make sure to throw some more coal in there. Just so it stays up to temperature and doesn't run out. There we go. Perfect. That should last a while. And we should start seeing this, uh, this working. Cool, let's take a look at what is going to be next in our advancements. As we're progressing in our technology tree, let's kind of see what we're gonna need. So, it says, I need to switch from electrostatic energy to a passive reliable energy source like thermal energy. Um, I need connectors and coils to connect this power to some sort of energy storage. Okay, so there is a battery box from uh, Magnetic Craft. There is a copper coil. Um, we have our electric connector, which I'm guessing is where our power is going to come from. Um, and then we also, of course, need to make the thermal file. So that is going to be interesting. Let's take a look at the thermal file. So this is the, uh, the plates with that machine block that I was talking about, making that motor. Um, it's gonna require a little bit of processing, that is for sure, um, because we need to make copper cables which making shears, I think, is going to be the easier process for that. I mean, if iron shears are easy, I don't, I don't know. It should be the regular recipe. Yeah, there we go. Um, copper plating. I'm pretty sure I have some of that. We have sticks. I know that. There we go. And uh, yeah, we're going to make some of the copper plates turn into cables. As simple as that. And that'll give us some LV. And then I think this together makes the copper coil. I think we're gonna need a couple of them. So let's go ahead and see this again. So the motor, and we need some lead plates, iron plates, copper, and iron rods, which I should have every one of those things. Iron rod, iron plates, lead plates. Perfect. So not too, too difficult. Not too difficult. And then we need the copper nuggets. There we go. Oh, by the way, let's take a look at this thing. As you can see, um, yeah, I don't even think it can keep up. Um, this is maxed out. I think, oh, I know what's going on here. Let's take a look. Let me get my handy dandy wrench. And whenever we remove this block, it actually switched the way this inventory worked. So now it should be outputting. But this thing is only heated up to 21, so it needs a better heater, I do believe. Doesn't seem to be any faster. I think that's where this power is going to come in to play, and we can hopefully have some better energy sources there to hopefully power this thing more. Okay, so back to this. Let's go ahead and see here. We can now make the motor. Awesome. And then we're gonna need a few other things. We're gonna need some more iron plates, more lead plates, and some steel. Iron plates, lead plates, and steel. That is going to get us the machine block. Two of them, actually. And then, then we need bronze plates and steel. Do I have bronze plates? I have Dawnstone. There's our bronze and four steel. A lot of steel required in this. So let's go ahead and grab that out. And we'll throw that bronze in there real quick. Perfect. And that should be our generator. Perfect. Okay, <clears throat> so now that we have this done, the way this thermo generator works, I'm almost positive, is it needs to have varying d temperatures on each side of it. So one side needs to be a heat source, one side needs to be a cool source, and vice versa on all sides. So one way to do that is to take snow, um, because the heat source we have, this is I think the best heat source we have, the magma block. So we'll be sure to use that. But I wanna get packed ice. And how to get packed ice, you say? Let's take a look. Um, we should we should have access to packed ice. Almost positive. So let's go ahead and make some snow. 
Bam, there's our snow. And if we throw snow into this pool, we get ice. And then if we place ice here, we should get packed ice. At least it should. Um, it'll take a little bit and then uh, it will change. All right, so they just changed to packed ice. Oh, I think I need silk touch or something, don't I? Ooh, that might be a another problem that I have to figure out. Huh, I was hoping I could just, you know, pick it up. That doesn't seem to be the case. I guess maybe we'll just use ice for now. Well, I don't know. Ice might melt. What we could do is use ice pillars, I think. I think that'll work just as fine, or just as well. And we'll just use uh, chisel for that. Let's just, we'll, we'll try that. Because I think that's a form of the ice pillar. I mean, it is ice. Let's just do ice pillar. There we go. And we'll use this alongside this guy. And that should generate some power for us. Now, where to put this? That, that would be okay. I think right here. And then on each side of this, we'll kind of swap this out. Um, I probably do need to place the waddle and daub back. That stuff has been is pretty picky. Let's place it back here. There we go. Uh, for some of these machines, they won't work without it. Um, so right here, I'm going to place the magma blocks. Place that there. Place this here. And then my ice pillars will go here and here. That should be generating energy. Should, I say. Um, okay, so let's take a look. It wants us to make an electric connector. We have the copper coils. And then a battery block. So. Battery block. This is literally a bunch of iron. Um, we have the small batteries, which are sulfur. Copper, iron nuggets, and lead plates. Okay. Uh, we need iron nuggets. Copper plates, right? Lead plates. And then we're also going to need iron plates. And then whatever this is, uh, this is just iron gates for them. Okay, so this stuff isn't that bad. I think I have everything over here. We need three of those and six of those, six of the iron. So let's make some batteries. It's only gonna be enough for two. What am I missing? Lead plates. There we go, now we have three of those. And then we need to make this. Which was that stone? Yeah, that was actual stone, regular stone. So it makes four of those and voila, we have a battery. Okay. Oh, we can actually click on this and it shows us the power. So we're generating what, 15? I don't know what this means. So is one. Hmm. I guess that's the heat versus the, this is the power bar. Wonder, I wonder if these pillars are actually working with this. That I wonder. I don't know. The only thing I can do is, is break these out to test. So the heat goes away then. Heats back up. Did not mean to break you. So the heat's still there. Uh, maybe we have to use... I mean, we can't use normal ice because... I'm trying to think of something that might be cold. 
maybe cracked ice. No. It's just showing that it's producing power. It is. It's showing it's producing power. Ah, there we go. See, now that's producing a lot more power. Maybe if I put lava here, see, it may not detect these blocks as being as hot as lava. So, you know, a little bit of testing never hurt anybody. So all we have to do is do a little bit of testing. I'll actually just use this to test. Yep, it actually thinks lava is better. Okay. The more you know, the more you know, honestly. I'm glad I tested that out. Because, uh, I mean, I guess every block is a little bit different. So it's good to know that this actually produces a little bit more power. So we're going to go with this way. <laughs> Even though I don't think the ice is going to stay ice. Yeah, it's already turned to water. But, I mean... Hmm. I think the only thing that'd be better is packed ice, but we have to have a way of picking that up, and we don't. As of right now. But anyways, let's go ahead and block that. And I think we're doing pretty good. Okay, so I think I have found the magic combination. It is snow and lava. Look at this. It is perfect. Like, they are, like, right on each other. Um, okay, so I think that is the, the version you need to go. Um, now, snow normally doesn't melt with lava. It melts when a torch is nearby. Um, from what I know, so if I place a torch right here, it would eventually melt this. Um, so I don't know if I need to put like a slab or something on top of it. If it does melt, I can easily fix that. I was going to show you guys this. Um, if, you have, if you're having issues uh, keeping up with your snow. I mean, because this is Sky Resources... If you place snow down, you can shift and then right click with an open hand and you'll actually duplicate the snow. I know that sounds crazy, but uh, you do and uh, you get slowness, but uh, it only for just a second. But yeah, this is perfect. You actually get quite a bit. OK, so now that we have that done, it wants us to make the um, electric connector. Uh, we're looking at magnetic. And we're looking for the electric connector here, which is basalt, stone slabs, and copper. Okay. So one copper, basalt, and stone slabs. Pretty easy to obtain those materials. Let's go ahead and make eight of those, right? Oh, we need two copper. And voila, we have an electric connector. Now, I'm not sure how exactly these work. And I'm not sure how the battery box works either. So it only have one side? I guess so. So this thing builds up power. Looks like we have, is that charging ports? No idea. And it looks like that connects there. And then we use this copper coil to connect them. So position set. Oh, cool. That's so weird. Okay. Okay, so, oh, um, this turned to obsidian. I don't, I don't understand. That ended up turning to obsidian. That could be an issue. Okay. Um, that's not good. I bet both of them turned to obsidian, didn't they? I bet. 
so that's gonna be something we're gonna have to keep an eye on um, hmm and figure out but I mean at least it's power it's early power and we have a book okay so does this book maybe explain a little bit to us let's take a look electricity electricity transmission conversion rates no what I want to see is wind turbine machine mechanics electricity I'm not gonna find it in here at least not right now hmm oh well I'm sure that is a feature Does that make it easier to mine? No, it doesn't. I was hoping maybe chiseling this would make it easier, but it doesn't at all. Ugh. Oh well, uh, what I'm gonna, well this is still a heat source, right? No, it doesn't think so. All right, so uh, I guess that's going to move us on into the next section, which is powering the crucible. Right, making the induction heater. Which I looked at before, it doesn't really seem that difficult. I need to make a bunch of the electrum wire plates, which is not going to take very long at all. And that makes four of those, and then we can use the refactory casing and get ourselves upgraded. So, I just want to work on it. I'm going to get some of the... the um, Electrum plated up and did, doing all that stuff like that uh, And yeah, I'll be back and then uh, hopefully I'll be able to figure out this. I'm sure that it just it turns it into That that's just how it works. Yeah Huh interesting, but yeah, we'll figure this out. All right, so I think I have just about everything ready to go So all I need is the heating coil Which I'm going to need this which is just a piece of iron And I also oh I figured this out so I'm using the basaltic magma, which is actually hotter than the regular lava. And what I did, I placed the source here, not up next to it, right here. And so far, nothing's changed, and we are drawing the max 20 watts, which is which equals 20, I think joules is what it's based off of, joules a tick. Um, and then as you can see, you have the volts. But right here, this is actual, the equivalent to RF. The joules is equivalent to RF. Um, which is kind of weird right here. You can see 19. This is how much we're actually gaining uh, Per tick joules per tick. So the 19.9 it's almost 20 per tick. We are losing just a little bit Which is the conversion? Um, it's just losing just a tiny little bit of power. So we're making like 19 RF per tick basically Which is not bad Not bad at all. And this is also generating right through the battery um, and charging it up It looks like this might hold a million RF or the equivalent to a million RF, which is not bad for early game power, which is pretty cool. Uh, but let's get this going. So we do have our brick. If I remember correctly, we can use... Oh, this is still wet. Oh, man. I thought I had that... I uh, thought that was dry already. I was hoping that would be dry. Actually, can we dry this faster? Is there a way we can put this in our drying racks? Which I removed the drying racks, of course, but uh, man, I was hoping I could maybe put them in there. I don't know. Yeah, it looks like I, I do have to little, wait a little bit longer, but uh, while we wait, we can get the other stuff done. Um, I, I only had two of these left over, so I had to make some more of that Adobe brick there. Um, but let's go ahead and get this. So I need the redstone wrapped around my cables, and I needed iron, right? Okay, so I need this with some of this new wire. Gets us on electrum coil. We surround that with redstone. We get the four heating coils, and then we need a copper plate and redstone. And then we're just waiting for Adobe brick to dry, and we should be good to go. All right, so I got my uh, brick done, so we now can go ahead and make that. So let's go ahead and make this. We only need this much. We only need four of those. I'll just save these for later underneath here. There we go. And then go back to the induction. And 
and let's go ahead and make this thing. So, we need iron plates, right? That's the last little bit we need. Guys, and we have, we're fixing to, like, not need coal anymore. It's gonna be great. So there's that, and then... Oh, last thing we need is a copper plate. There we go, guys. We now have power, and we can remove this thing. Ah, oh, so nice. So, let's take this out, place this here, and let's try out our new power system. We hook a power cable there and there. Take a copper cable, connect it here, position updated, and then connect it. And then I guess we can throw this guy somewhere else. Is this getting power? This is getting power. Um, okay, room missing 49 blocks. It needs to be at least 64 exposed concrete. Um, what? The room is not big enough. Is that because it's covered in all sides? There we go. So is this maintaining heat? It's getting lower. Okay, it looks like the amount of RF, though, is being transferred to it. The temperature's dropping, though. This doesn't have, like, an interface or anything. That is kind of... interesting. Where did my, uh, where did my block go that, uh, I just had? Let my cast? All of that stuff went in the hopper? Okay, I went down here. The room is not big enough. Missing 49 blocks. Fifty one RF. It is drain that bone dry. Okay. Um With passive power, I can keep the crucible now fueled constantly. Uh, I don't think so. Well, that's not good. That must mean that this is just not generating enough power. Wait, something happened. Something's not, it's not showing we're generating any power at all. I'm so confused by how this power system works. <laughs> I don't really know. All right, guys. So I spent the resources. I went ahead and made two more of these guys, hoping that that would help. After I had originally made another one, or I had the, the, a lot of the resources to make another one, uh, making two more, I just wanted to have to see if the boost and extra power was enough to run the heater, and it's still not. So um, maybe the windmill power will be enough once we get that going, but as of right now, this is just not enough power to run that heater on its own. So we're producing like 60 RF per tick, with uh, these right here, so you have 20, 20, that's 40. It's close to 80, but I think after you hit the limitations and uh, like the power um, loss and stuff like that, it's around 60. Um, yeah, it's still not, we're not producing that much. As you see, 68 RF per tick is what we're gaining. Um, and we're building it up, but the problem is, is this consumes a lot more power than this thing can handle. So, yeah, our power generation is just not suitable yet for this. We'll figure something out eventually. I don't know. But for right now, I'm going to be swapping this thing back to its uh, other heater. Uh, but man, I, I just, I don't know. 
but uh, maybe it's just uh, we have to wait a little bit. But yeah, I, I mean, we're getting somewhere, though, guys. I mean, eventually we'll get some more power going. Um, it is saying that we can, you know, maybe it wanted us to just use this to make the electric furnace. I don't know. Uh, but we definitely cannot power this thing yet. Well, guys, if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also give this video a thumbs up. You guys are awesome. And as always, thanks for watching. Let's go.